Well, we have a little bit of a situation here. A little problem in the RV. I'm sitting on it. A um, couple stops ago, we noticed that the pressure in the toilet, the water pressure in the toilet when you flush is just almost non-existent. It just trickles out of the little holes out of there. And um, we've moved a couple times since, so we know it's not a water pressure issue. And so my thought goes to the pressurized mechanism, which RV toilets are a little bit different than house toilets. So they don't fill up a water reservoir and use that to push water out through the the plumbing, the RV toilet has to have a pressurized mechanism which grabs that water and pushes it up because the water is coming up, so it's going against gravity. It has to have something to increase that pressure in the toilet, so that's a pressurized mechanism and a water valve. So before I totally replace the pressurized mechanism, I need to make sure that the water valve screen is clear and that the water valve itself is not messed up in there. I can't really do much. I'm not going to take the whole pressurized mechanism apart because if the screen is clear and the valve looks good, uh, I'll probably just call Alliance back and say, look, uh, the pressurized mechanism is junk and I just need to replace it out, which is super easy to do. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, you can see here, um, these little holes is where the water comes out and is supposed to swirl around. Um, however, the um, the pressure is not great enough for it to even shoot out and do what it's supposed to do. It's coming out of here and it's just basically just trickling right down. Uh, I did take uh, some pipe cleaner and I went into each one of these holes and cleaned that out. And there was some gunk in there um, because what happens is when you stop flushing, you know, there's some water that just hangs out in there and then that can cause like some buildup and it can grow like some algae and stuff. So as I was cleaning out of that, it was some like black and green stuff that came out, but it wasn't enough to clog it up. And after I did that, the pressure didn't increase, which tells me that it's probably still something with that mechanism or with the valve. And you can see here when I push the, the pedal to flush this, uh, there's just not much pressure. Normally it's shooting out of there, spinning all the way around the bowl, but these streams are just, just trickling. What I do love about Alliance RV is that they have these valves right here. So what I can do is I can turn this valve like that and that turns off all the water to the toilet. I don't have to turn off the water to the entire RV to work on this process. And this right here is the pressurized mechanism, that water valve that's in there. So this is the thing that I'm going to have to take off and take a look at. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this. This is our water source. I'll take this off that way. Um, I can get this valve out. And the way you do that is you just push down on this little thing right here. Once it disconnects from there, push down here and then that thing will pop right out. And then I'll be able to see kind of if there's any obstructions or anything that's uh, hindering the flow that I can see with my eyes. If there's nothing I can see or do myself, I'll obviously have to get it, uh, this whole mechanism replaced. This tool comes in quite handy when you're dealing with these plastic fittings because it's not going to wreck your fitting. It just hooks right on the on the little nubs there, and then you can unscrew this. I bought this on Amazon only for a few bucks. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to get one. It has one side for uh, bigger fittings and one side for smaller fittings, so works good for all of your plumbing in your RV. Great tool to have. All right, we got this out. Um, there is a screw that goes in here first. Uh, that we had to take out before we could push these tabbies out and, and then once we did this thing just popped out now when I look down inside of here you can see um, yeah it's gunked up man um, it looks like hard water buildup in there and um, so we went probably the first eight or nine months owning this RV without a softener and so I'm assuming that that is where that came from so we're going to clean that out and then we're going to plug this back in and see if that helps at all this is, I couldn't even pick up all of it. Most of it fell on the towel, but this is just some of the stuff that came out of that screen. It looks like sand, but you can see if you look closer to it, it's, it's hard water deposit. Um, it was almost completely clogging that whole area. So you couldn't even see the screen in there until I got in there. I got in there with toothpicks, q 
Q-tips, a straw, and some pipe cleaner and just kind of got it out of there. Try to work it out to where you're not pushing stuff through that screen because you push stuff through that screen. It's just when you turn the water back on, it's going to push all that stuff up into the uh, pressurized mechanism. You don't want to do that. You want to try to get that stuff out. So thankfully now we have a water softener and hopefully this won't happen again. Um, and I'm hoping that this fixes it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on, turn the water back on, and hopefully this was the problem. All right, time to kick the water back on and see if it worked. Moment of truth. Much better. See, it was actually swirling now instead of just running down. Well, the moral of the story is water softener and don't be afraid to do some work yourself mm -hmm. it really wasn't that bad no um i thought the mechanism was bad completely and so i emailed uh, alliance yeah. and asked them for a replacement part because we're still under warranty and they contacted dometic and dometic uh sent these suggestions which one of which was cleaning out the screen area yes and so i did and it's much better it, yeah that's way better and I don't have to wait for a replacement part. Yeah. I don't have to replace a part. And it was super easy. One screw and a little tab. And then my tool that I use to get the uh, the connection off for the plumbing. Yeah. Which is a great tool. Yes. One of my favorite tools in my toolbox right now. Yeah. Because I've used it several times. Because we did have a slow leak down in the basement from a fitting that wasn't tightened all the way up. And so I just basically took that thing and just kind of cinched them all up just to make sure that we're good. Thanks to Ted. Yeah, Ted, we met in Colorado. I had no idea this tool even existed. Yeah, he showed it to us. We ordered one right away. Yeah. Who knew we'd get so much use out of it already? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, all in all, probably about a 10 minute job if, yeah. you, if you know what you're doing. I had that screw was in there and I had no idea the screw was holding it. So we're <laughs> like, get on the park trying to get it, <laughs> get it out. But, and so he took the screw out and it popped right oh, out. Yeah. And then we were able to clean it out and took a little longer just because we're filming for YouTube but um, yeah. other than that super easy and yeah. I'm glad that we have our pressure back in our toilet yeah because that was so annoying yeah what's most annoying is you know when you're getting ready to go to the, to the bathroom you you kind of get a little bit of water build in there water to build up. build up a little water in there it took, forever. it took forever with that low pressure so now I'm looking forward to it filling up <laughs> faster and on the female aspect because we use way more toilet paper than yeah. you guys do having to go to the bathroom there's not enough water to make it go down it would just yeah wet yeah. suction to the side of the bowl yeah the other problem is is uh after you go to the bathroom you want to flush for long enough to get enough water down there so that you have a, a good mixture of solids and liquids down there so when yeah. you flush your tanks you don't have a buildup of solids but with the low pressure yeah you, you really had to sit there and let it flush for a long, long time it. to yeah. get enough water to go down yeah. and so you gotta be disciplined enough to do that when you have low pressure in your water but now no issue. Yeah. I think this is the first uh, video we filmed in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but easy fix, no cost. Thank you to Alliance. Thank yep. you to Dometic for getting back to me so fast. Yeah, that was quick. And for giving me some good information. So now everybody wins. Nobody has to uh, buy a replacement part and nobody has to, to replace one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's a pain too waiting because you got to figure out where you're going to be at, where you're going to have it sent to. Yeah, if you're moving around a lot. It's, so, it's hard. Good deal. Yeah, I'm Glad. happy. Well, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help vets, everything is down in the description. Appreciate you watching. Go fix your own toilet. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.